This Saturday at Crossroads Christian Church in Gray, Tennessee, the Crossroads Marketplace event will take place from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Here to get us ready for this fun holiday inspired event is Tampa Bader. How you doing, Tampa? I'm doing good. Thank good you. Good to see you again. Good to see I you. I know the holidays are quickly approaching when we talk about the Crossroads, <laughs> Crossroads Marketplace coming up. It's coming up this Saturday. Correct. And talk, tell for folks that may be new to the area, I've never heard of this before, tell them what Crossroads Marketplace is all about. Well, about 10 years ago, we started this. We started it to help out women who were kind of doing side gigs with crafts and so on, direct marketing, uh, to, to stay home with their kids and mm -hmm. be able to make a little money. That's how it started. It's expanded beyond just being women who come to do their, to have a, a vendor place. But uh, we have just so many different, uh, such a huge variety of things that people right. come and bring. Now, how many so, vendors total are you, are we, you expecting? This year we're having 45, and that's 45. about all we can cram in right. our space. <laughs> <laughs> Got that's a good problem to have yeah. is when you run out of space. But it's everything. I mean, there is, there is vendors of all kinds. Kind of, kind of break it down. What, what can folks expect from the vendors? Well, uh, we have people who bring baked goods. And the, another, another interesting thing is we have some young people and all the way up to old people. I think we have a lady that's almost 90 years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> that has, but we, they, uh, there's quilts and there's candles and there's woodcraft and items. And we're seeing some video right okay. now. Looks oh, yeah. like maybe some fudge going on yeah, there as well. Teresa's some good stuff fudge. to eat. Uh, there plenty of, you know, we talk about the holidays and it is quickly approaching, but you're going to be able to get your holiday decorations and some gift ideas as well. Right, a lot of gift ideas. It's not just Christmas or, you know, you'll find just general seasonal right. kind of things too. So and, and stuff to make your home beautiful and Correct. smell great and be yeah, great. I exactly. love that. Let's take a look at just, you brought just a few of the things that are going to be mm -hmm. available this this Saturday. Let's talk about first of all. Let's talk about this beautiful quilt back here. Yeah, we uh, this is made by a lady actually in our church, and there's about three different people that will have crafts. Uh, quilts right not just exclusively quilts but they'll have some quilts um, we have I thought this was kind of unique this is a vintage little golden book right and this lady has made it into she didn't get rid of any of the pages but she made it into a journal Oh. So it's got the Christmas story, right. uh, the, uh, Night Before Christmas, and it's a journal too. I just thought that was such a creative idea. Uh, we have a vendor who's going to be able to personalize things. This is a puzzle. It says Luke on it, and uh, so you can get it personalized for your... That would your be a great stocking gift. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this was made by a man who in his retirement has decided to do woodcrafts. And, uh, I think it's beautiful. It's Those a are candlesticks. Candlesticks, they yeah. come apart and then we put them together, they make that nice heart. Uh, something I love is the uh, nativity set over there. It's handmade, right there. it's clay. Let me move this over so they can get a real close up. I want folks to see that nativity scene. Uh, she makes them that small, but I have one that's about, I don't know how tall, a foot tall. Okay. With a lot lower, larger characters, but uh, she makes each one does, by hand. Does the topper yeah, it comes I just off. I want to be real mm -hmm. gentle here. Yeah. And look, all of the, all of the, the nativity there. Yeah. I it, love it's that. Yeah. This uh, pumpkin here is made out of concrete. <laughs> that is not ceramic. It's concrete. No, it's concrete. So, so and you can tell. It's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not the only thing she made. She has quite a few other decorative items, but I thought that was a un unique idea. We have uh, soaps, a uh, lady who makes soaps by hand, and they're beautiful. And I love these little rope yeah. baskets over here. Right. Too. You can put your jewelry in them at the end of the day and coins, your extra coins out of your pocket. And of course, you got to have a little little mailbox for your letters. Exactly. To over yeah. Here. I so. love that. And like a 3D painting effect over mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So you have so many artisans and craftspeople that are going to be there. Yes. And I think that's part of the allure, too, because you can come and talk to them. And maybe if there's something you're interested in doing, you can learn more from them as well. Sure. And maybe if they don't have something you exactly want, they might make it for you. Exactly. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> we will have a shopping guide okay. that lists everybody that's there with yeah. their uh, contact information. So if you go home and you think, you know, I really liked so-and-so, right. you can call them and and, uh, and buy it later as well. That's exactly so. right. Tampa, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Hey, folks, it is it is going to be a great event. It is the Crossroads Marketplace. It's happening this Saturday right there. Free admission. Can't beat the prize. Come on out. It is going to be a great time to get started on the holiday shopping.